Good morning, Autumn Morio. How are you doing today? This is Jocelyn Castillo. And I am Miley Lopez. Please write for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. I will graduate from high school to equip the excel in the college and career of my choice. Dominate 21st century skills and leadership, knowledge, language, and technology to complete in a global economy and serve as a successful citizen in my community. Please stand for one more moment of silence. You may be seated. It's that time of the year again. Picture day has arrived. Make sure you come camera ready tomorrow. Tuesday, October 10th, we can't wait to see those pearly whites. Students, we need your help with the scrum books. Please pay attention to the next video and follow along with it as best as you can. Everyone needs to make sure you have already followed these steps. This video is gonna show you how to update Google Chrome on a Chromebook. First thing is go to the three dots on the top right corner Go down to Settings, select About Chrome on the left, click on Chrome OS Settings, and then hit Check for Updates on the right. If your computer needs to be updated, you will see the Updating Your Device pop up there in the middle with the spinning blue wheel, and the percentage should go up from 1 to 100%. Once it's finished, you'll get a button on the right that says Restart. Your Google Chrome is now updated. Hit Restart to restart the computer, and you're all set. October 9th, 1967. Che Guevara, the Latin American guerrilla leader, is executed in Bolivia while trying to spark a revolution. Guevara, who aided Fidel Castro's rise to power in Cuba, remains a global icon to this day. 2001. Letters with a New Jersey postmark that later test positive for anthrax spores are mailed to Capitol Hill. They're addressed to two Democratic senators, Tom Daschle of South Dakota and Patrick Leahy of Vermont. A Senate office building is later closed for months of cleanup part of the nation's anthrax scare after the September 11th attacks. 1985, Palestinian hijackers who seized the cruise liner Akili Lauro surrender after the ship arrives in Egypt. It marks the end of a hostage ordeal in the Mediterranean that left an American passenger dead. 1975, Andrei Sakharov, the nuclear physicist and human rights advocate in what's then the Soviet Union, wins the Nobel Peace Prize. 2006, North Korea announced it had conducted its first nuclear weapons test, drawing condemnation from around the world. Also that year, internet search giant Google announced it was snapping up YouTube in a $1.65 billion stock deal. And in 1940, John Lennon, one of the Fab Four members of the Beatles, is born in Liverpool, England. Today in History, October 9th, John Belmont, The Associated Press. something really cool. A 200 year old painting thought to be a copy has actually been proven to be real. The original portrait of a Tyra Lowe's lady by artist Rosabella Carrera was placed into a storage in the 1900s. It was shipped off to a museum and it was discovered that a slip of paper authenticating it was tucked into the frame of a painting. This is an amazing discovery because Rosalba Sariera is remembered as one of the most successful female artists of all time and no one of her originals is back where it belongs. How amazing. In the words of Sonia Sotomayor, the first Hispanic Supreme Court justice, 
sis. I do one thing about me. I don't measure myself by other expectations or let others define my worth. You don't need other people to tell you what what you are worthy of. You don't need to tell yourself that you are worthy. Don't let what someone else says define who you are. You get to choose always. This is Justin Castillo and Eileen Lopez signing, signing off. Have a great day.